Hey, dude. Hey, how's how's the second quarantine been? Ah, uh, you know how it's going. Also, it is the third. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Damn, is it? Well, yeah. no. You got. Remember the first one? I definitely remember the first one. Yeah. Okay, when did this happen? Oh, uh, well, I think I think I have it marked down uh, uh, from playing a lot of games. Oh, seems like you're going at it there. But no, I mean like the first quarantine here. I have no sense of time anymore. Yeah, I, I started playing more then. I have note sheets of like when I beat games and like with days and times all oh, elaborate. Yeah. It was like May, I think. April. This was about the toilet paper crisis, right? Uh, maybe. She wanted to go for a drive with me and my mom. Uh, yeah, I think the grocery store ran out of like instant yeast or flour. Is instant flour a thing? It was definitely about the toilet paper crisis. Did you manage to get flour? <laughs> yeah, we had to go to a confectionery where it was like way overpriced though. Everything seemed to be overpriced. I, I wasn't much better. Literally all day, just playing video games. Like, was, was this like May or something? April. Emergency learning hadn't started yet. <sighs> God, I hate stoichiometry. Why? I thought it was fine. Not in your learning, it wasn't. Also, were you okay there? No, I, I struggled very much. Hmm. Yeah, never thought I'd miss school. Well, in-person school. When was this? April? No clue, time had no meaning at this point. <laughs> yeah, it all seemed to blend together. Not really. It is what happens when you don't leave your house for six months. Could have been April, though. Yeah, could have. We have always been there for you. We are family, and so in these unprecedented times, more than ever, it is important that we stick together. We here at Mita want to help you. We 
have always been there for you. We are family, and so in these unprecedented times, more than ever, it is important that we stick together. We here at Mita want to help you. I'm not fucking doing this. Prison time! Easily the worst part of this. God, those ads sucked! Yeah, so glad. On the surface level, looks like they're trying to help, but just makes me feel misunderstood, more alone. You know, hopefully that's not stupid to say. Mm. I think this is when I finally started doing something. Yeah, I think I remember this. Not to best if I'm being honest. Do you want to talk? Yes, yes I do. A lot, a lot changed after reaching out. I began to feel better, just and everything just felt better. Of course you did, dude. I mean, <laughs> I started talking to more people. I made an effort to keep in contact. I even started drawing more. And found a few new hobbies. Including talking to me. <laughs> Even started playing different games. Na 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 katamari damasi. Even more unfavorable ones. Da 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 da! Who's ready to play Muppets <laughs> Party Cruise? <laughs> Damn! God, I remember when you forced me and, like, Aiden to play that game for hours. It was awful. <laughs> it was two hours at most! Sure, buddy. Maybe three. Okay. But, in all seriousness, like, changing one thing helped me a lot. It took a while, but eventually I even started jogging. Kind of. Oh, that's These things are not play. Nerd, you get exercise. Okay, come on. It was like one jog. Okay, I'm glad you nerd. started getting exercise. How do you think I got these gains, dude? <laughs> At least you started feeling better. <laughs> yeah. At first, it was physical hell, but being able to keep it up gave me a lot more confidence in myself. Well, I'll be honest. I was scared to reach out. I felt alone and that reaching out would make it worse. Sick stigma sucks, and there was a lot of stigma around that stuff. Besides, schoolwork and family all, all these just seemed more important. God, I'm forgetting how to speak right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm off to go bike riding. You wanna wanna come join me? Buddy boy, I'm always up for a bike ride. Hub trail, plenty of space to be six feet apart. There, 
There's only one bike trail, Dunce. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you later. We have a lovely quote from the Journal of Clinical Nursing, Volume 29, Issue 15 to 16. Those injured by stress may be the last to recognize it, and stigma can be an obstacle to asking for help. Mabin and Bridges, the two professors who wrote this, talk about how, as a result, people don't put themselves first, thinking it would harm or pressure others and let them down. But you can't help others without helping yourself first. Another quote, this time from the Clinical Psychology Review, Volume 85. The COVID-19 pandemic has, and will, continued to result in negative mental health outcomes such as depression, anxiety, traumatic stress in people and populations throughout the world. Bowden, Zimmerman, and the nine other wonderful people who wrote this volume also talk about how social risk factors like institutional racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, plus age, poverty, immigration status, and pre-existing physical and mental vulnerabilities make the problem worse and put people at risk for, from pandemic stressors, fear, and self-isolation, for example. There are so many resources out there for mental health. Of course, those aren't going to solve problems like sexism, homophobia, and institutional racism, but they can aid your psychological and mental health which is just important as your physical mental health, as your physical health. Our own school had a mental health week, but it was put on the announcements post, which nobody reads. The problem isn't going to magically go away, but it can be manageable. Remember the things that everybody tells you to do, but you just don't want to? Eating healthy, getting a full night's sleep, drinking plenty of water, exercising, and getting help. Getting help doesn't have to be with a mental health professional, though that's always a good idea. It can be with your friends, family, or some faceless stranger on the internet. It can be simply talking and sharing what you're going through. And getting help doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're human. We all need a bit of assistance sometimes. And actually moving past the Sigma to do so is pretty damn brave. It's something you should be proud of, no matter what anybody tells you.